What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy, and we back in here with another video. Now, first things first, if you hear music outside, that's my dad's playing his music. Y'all know, if y'all been on my channel, you already know that once my dad plays his music out there, that's his type of calm, that's his, basically that his type of vibe, so I can't stop him there. So, all I can try to let him do is turn it down, because nine times out of ten, his music goes too loud. But yeah, this ain't a reaction video right now. This is just me telling you. And basically, if y'all have been around my channel, you know that this day was coming. Now, this is gonna be, as y'all heard me say in my mul in multiple videos, multiple anime Wednesdays, every nerdcore song I've been reacting to over the past year. Here's the video for it now. This is my one, this is gonna, this is now my one year experience with the, my one year experience in the nerdcore community. Now, let's talk about it. And actually, I want to say this. I'm gonna go on Twitter right now, right? This is all unedited, full, raw, uncut, so I can tell you how I feel about it and such. And it's just going to be mostly me talking about how, one, how Nerdcore has evolved over the years, and two, in my personal opinion, how has it been lately and such. So, give me a second, y'all. I want to go to Twitter and actually... The reason why I'm going to Twitter is because of one specific reactor that posted like a like a little viewpoint on how Nerdcore has been evolved over the years. So I want to go to What It Do Dave's Twitter. Shout out to him. Make sure y'all go follow him on Twitter. So hold on. Give me a second, y'all, because he did. Because he posted that Twitter, because that's that literally sparked the idea and such. So here we go. So this part, so on June 26, right, this year, right, he said these were these were his turning points in nerdcore, and this is just a thread. So I'm gonna go by go by how it is. So the first one is the rusted cipher. Rustage's Rustage's first cipher, meaning the Shonen Jump cipher. Now with that one, right? That came out in 2020. And that was the first one that has like gave people an introduction in a way you can say into the nerdcore. Cause before that nobody knew what nerdcore was. Nobody knew that there was like in a way you can say nobody knew about what anime was at the time or not even what anime is like never thought that anime could be that much big and such that there would be like a fix y'all that would there would be like a cipher for it so and trust me from that from the people who started out in that one excluding one because you know who that one is but either way with the way how it was built up nobody expected it to be that monumental and then there was the second one, but let's face it, even though the second one was good too, don't get it twisted, it was. But the first one really gave an impact because it gave us, gave, to be honest, it gave me an introduction into the Nerdcore. Because, like I said, and like I said, nobody like thought this was going to be like, honestly, I'm going to be like this. Nobody has ever thought it was going to be that big. And I bet you Rustic didn't even know it was going to be that big. But hey, he wanted to make sure people got invested into it. And hey, he did. The second one won. The second one is Dizzy 8's Madara Track with Contrast. Now that one, that one gave you like, with that one now, right? That one gave you like a X. Now, for me, right? And when I'm watching it. Is 
because throughout the entire of the nerdcore when it was starting out right in 2020 to me i'm just saying in 2020 right because that time people got more invested into it with the amvs it was just mostly clips of the aim clips of which anime they were doing and the text was down below right but with contrast and dizzy eights matter trump matter of matter of song the way because normally they would like because normally with people they would want with most anime rappers they would want to do like a literal google search and such you would say right because let's face it that's how most of them do and get their reviews up but, but with dizzy eight and matter with dizzy eight and contrast they took that because they took that to a different level because with the amv that was bef like before today right because today the a AMVs are on different level. They're on spectacular, right? But at that point, at the start of it, right? At that point, right? Nobody has ever done an AMV like that before. At the time of that, right? Nobody has ever done like an AMV like that. And nobody like actually did like a fire way of how to do a track like that. Because with them, they gave you bars within it. They gave you up how Maduro is in like simple terms where you can just put it into like a me like into person like to people who don't know who Madara is as an anime or so even if it's Naruto they still didn't know what it is about who he was about and potentially that was a hit straight up so yeah I had to now the next one is DPS's drip track with Dizzy 8 and Fable now with that one that one I've seen, a, I, when I looked on that, right, I saw like a comment that said the track that revolutionized, revolutionized Nerdcore. Now with that one, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. Because a lot of times people think like, oh, anime rap, if you rap about anime, you can't get wavy. Like mostly with Nerdcore rappers, they thought like, oh, you couldn't get wavy with it and such. A. Hey, with that song from DPS and Dizzy 8 and Fable, that's that told y'all F that. Y'all think we can't get drippy? Now nah, we gonna show that we can get drip they, that not only they got wavy with it, but they came with bars with it too. Like come on man. And Fable with the hook. Keep on calling me the man. Hey. Later I get to it cause I can. You gonna see the other side of me coming with a drip. Hey, oh, now come on, man. You cannot tell me that wasn't a fire hook from Fable. And with Dizzy 8, where he came in with the freaking bars and sw came in with the sauce and with the and Dizzy 8 and drip and shit. Dizzy 8 and GPS, they came in with the drippiness. Fable, too. they all came with the waviness of it. That just sets the tone of how nerdcore could be wavy as hell. Sorry. So, yeah, I gotta say, that one was wavy as hell. And definitely revolutionized, you can say, the gateway of being wavy in nerdcore. So now, the next one is the new generation of nerdcore. Which is like with Loop and Otaku Underworld. Now, y'all been hearing me saying that for ever since that I started learning about who the groups are in Nerdcore, like with Loop and Otaku on the world. Shout out to them too, by the way. Yeah, let's face it. Because cause it's like this in music, right? Not just Nerdcore, just music in general. In the music industry, there are always going to be like groups that define who they are, right? In the Nerdcore community, with Loop and Otaku Underworld, and there's others too, but I'm just saying with those two specific groups. Hold on. Sorry, that was a garbage truck y'all here out there. But with Loop and Otaku Underworld, they like make, they like break, break, <laughs> bring like a different energy. Like, you don't get that, f like, at the time of it, right? With Nerdcore, yeah, it was starting to get wavy. It was starting to bring, like, drippiness and such because of, like, the DPS, right? But 
what have you ever thought like there would be because you've always heard like man i wish the, there was like a group in nerdcore and such well here you go and the fact is that with loop they was the first collab first nerdcore collective in the nerdcore community before there was even a nerdcore and i learned that from Breton boy when i literally asked if who are the members of group who are the members of loop so i had to literally so shout out to Breton boy for that and with otaku underworld with slick callen b hashtag mir and oh no not mir sorry not mir he mirrors with loop but either way those two groups loop and otaku underworld hey i'm just saying with them they they it's like this without them two right without those two groups and and to be honest i feel like with loop and otaku underworld they're, they're the reason why they are trying there are like other groups who are like trying to make it up and such like a, and hey what's wrong with that there's nothing wrong with trying to spark it up but all i'm saying is with these two they're the reason why there could be like groups in a in the nerdcore community so shout out to the members of loop and shout out to otaku underworld y'all keep y'all doing y'all thing and hey this past week was a loop was a loop week so hey shout out to them and otaku underworld y'all already know we rock with you heavy Our humble squad rock with you heavy so shout out to y'all and the next one is Game Boy Jones and Schwabity's explorations into new genre formats. Basically like club like club bangers, club bangers, club bangers and such. Basically songs where you can like like even if it's an anime based anime inspired song, you can throw it up in the club and you wouldn't even think it was you wouldn't even think it was talking about an anime. Yeah, so like with Game Boy Jones, we are Everybody know he's like the he's like the wavy god, the waviness, the butter god of Okage. Shout out to Schoolface for that, cause let's face it, that anytime when you hear a song from him, right, no matter which anime base it is, he with him he's always gonna find a way. Hold up, sorry. With him he's always gonna find a way how to make it so wavy. I mean, for goodness sakes. He made a song called Hokage Tonight. And if you know about what Hokage is like, like a, you would say it's like a head boss and such, but let's face it, if we're taking it to a spec of a romance nigga, a romance type of thing, like a lover, loving type of thing, I can be your Hokage Tonight. Like, come on, man. You need to tell me that if you would, if, even if it wasn't based on anime, right? Or saying it like, let's face it, a lot of people, even if you don't know a lot about much anime, you know the most famous, the most well-known animes people have grown up, right? It's Dragon Ball and Naruto, right? There's other ones too, but mostly Dragon Ball and Naruto people known for many years, right? So you need to tell me if you didn't put up that song Hokage tonight, right? And with your girl, right? You need to tell me you wouldn't, she wouldn't be dancing on you right now. You lying to yourself, he. If you wouldn't think with his type of songs, and for goodness sake, some of the songs that from last year and this year, one of my favorite songs from this year for him is that ten is like that Tenjin Uzi rap one. Cause god damn it, I don't give a damn what y'all say. If y'all ever ever want like a flashy and just freaking saucy ass song, the nigga that song is it. I don't care what anybody say. That song is it. And with Schwabity, his, him too, he is a way, like, with Schwabity, right? I've said this before. You've heard me say it before in many reaction channels. In ready, many reaction videos. The way how he could be able to switch, switch it up on you sometimes. Like, one minute, there's like a, there's like two personas. There's Schwabity and there's Schwabados. Schwabity is where you hear all the songs in, right? And you would never think that this... And if you hear Schwabados, basically his reaction channel, you would never think like they would be, they would be different. Because, nigga, his talking voice does not sound like how his rapping, singing voice is. It really don't. I don't care. Even though he's British, I do not care. How can you... Basically, and plus with his songs, like nigga, 
And don't get it started with him coming with bars too, nigga. Or just punch after punch after punch, nigga. He'll punch you so bad with his songs, nigga. Man, your guts gonna be hurting. But yeah, with Schwabity and with Schwabity and Game Boy Jones, yeah, they're the reason why they're like their genres where and genres too where you can throw it with some R and B, you can throw in some trap, you can throw in some freaking rippity rap and such that. So yeah, shout out to them. And there was another one he put up, like in the comments below, saying about Cam Steady's and Fables in No Skate Track. Yeah. Them two tracks. The Cam Steady one. The one, get, I'ma just get buck. Yeah, the one from this year, I'm pretty sure he's talking about. Yeah, that, but I feel like with the one from Fable, that one definitely set the tone of how nerdcore could be like how with that song, right? The, f the l first lyric of that song is suck my d little bitch, suck my dick little bitch or I'll come and slit your throat. Bro, at that time, right, if we're, we're taking it to that aspect. In the, in the songs before that song, right? When have you ever heard the lyric, the first lyric of the song? Not just within the song or anything. The first lyric of the song is, suck my dick, little bitch, or I'll come and or just suck my dick, little bitch. Have you ever heard that as the first, not even just lyric, just the first words in the song? The first words in the song. Of a nerdcore song. The first words. That just sets the tone of how aggressive. Nerdcore songs could be too. Because like I said. With the drip song. With the drip with Daddy Fat Snaps. Daddy Fat Snaps Fable and Dizzy 8. That set like the waviness. But with the Fable song in Nosuke. Right. Have you ever heard like aggression in a song. That one sets it. And with Cam Steady too, y'all already know with Cam, he can get freaking aggressive aggressive with it too. Because with Cam, he was always known as the video game rap battles guy, right? But let's face it. he You know he had to start switch. You know he was going to have to start switching it. And especially when he dropped his Inosuke song this year. And y'all seen it. Y'all heard me react to it. Make sure y'all go check it out. I'm going to just get booked. Like, and it's like this, right? Tell me with those two songs. If you're ever in a gym, right? And if you ever want to... Because you know with people who go to the gym, right? They always want to put on some workout songs, right? I don't give a damn what y'all say. I don't care what anybody else would say. Whether you know me personally or you're just a stranger or whatever, right? I don't care. If I'm at the gym and I have my headphones in. And if you're wondering why the hell I'm going crazy on the games... And you're wondering what kind of music I'm listening to is one of those two songs I'm listening to. One of them two songs is either Fables in Osuke or Cam Steady's in Osuke. Because either way, no matter which one you would choose, they are the reason why you see me going strong. Is going, you see me get muscle as hell. I don't care. But yeah, those two definitely brought like aggressiveness into a song aggressiveness into nerdcore I meant to say and now the next one is Tyler Clark's production style yeah with Tyler Clark now right with him his production type his production is like unique and just out of control because if you've seen it on like Connor Quest the other guy who we not gonna mention y'all know y'all know who that is but let's face it, we still have to give him his props. Even though he's a racist and all, even though there was rumors and such, but until look, until when all that is situated and such, until when we're actually cool with him, you know we're not gonna say his name. We're not gonna associate with his name in this channel. But all that, but I can't deny the music that he produced, he puts out with his style on it too but basically when i've seen it on connor quest's music right 
his type of unique style, his production style, style on a song is just, I don't even think, D, and with all due respect, DPS, hear me out. You're, whenever you're producing a song, it's fire. No doubt about it, because you want to make sure, people want to make sure they bump it, bump it. But I'm just saying, have you ever had like a unique, like a little, like a little different unique style into it? I'm just saying. Because you, you yourself have to admit, Daddy Fat Snaps, and I don't know if you're going to see this, but you yourself have to admit, Tyler Clark's production is like so unique, so like different. And if you think I'm wrong, go just check out some of the guy's channel. You know him, right? And just look at basically any song that involves with a Tyler Clark production tag in it, right? And you gonna see why I say his type of production style is like different, no, like different than any other production style I could ever hear from people. I'm just saying. But yeah, his is like different. And the next, the last one and such is Maguire's vocal. Now, Maguire's vocal presence. Now, let's face the facts now. I've been saying this about Maguire for, for literally, you can say months and such and so, right? With the addition of Maguire in Nerdcore, bro, let's face a fact. You know there are most artist in Nerco who loves to sing and such and I get it they trying some nine times out of ten it's not good nine times out of ten it's okay it's all right and nine times out of ten it'd be it'd be crazy because you never expect that from them but with Maguire let's face it you hear how this man sings now nah, nah, let me say it as a black person you hear how this man sang and sang and who in Nerdcore that you know can sing, sings like he can? I'm being respectable as I can with other artists who can sing. I have never heard another nerd, I, not even just Nerdcore, just artists in general who has a vocal presence like that on a song. Where it sounds like, he can like he's taking you to church. Like, and especially as a black person. You know we love, look, I'm a Jamaican, but let's face it, at the end of the day, you see the color, black, and what we black people love, that soul. I mean, for goodness sakes, y'all can hear it right now, my dad is literally playing, if y'all can hear it right now, right, if, well, y'all probably can, y'all hearing my dad playing some, some gospel music right now, right, Maguire has that type of vocal presence, where it sounds like he could be in a church, in like a church, he was like a church, he would basically go to black churches, now nah, he ain't going, I'm just saying, he ain't going to no white church, with all due respect to the white churches, he ain't going to no white churches and sing like that, he going to, ah, damn it, I hit my, I hit my elbow, <laughs> no, he ain't going to no white churches singing like that, he going to some real black church singing like that, cause that's the type of vocal presence he had, bro, you, like with his type of voice, right? You wouldn't care if he was rapping. He was singing in an a pro anime protagonist or a villain. It don't matter which one he would choose, cause with his type of vocal presence, it would match how the song is. Like one of the songs I can like remember and such with his vocal kind of presence, really brings like the church one is him. And Daddy Fat Snap's Dobby Rap The Fallen, especially the chorus. Even though clouds fall. Like, bro, you cannot tell me as a... If you're a black person and you've reacted to that song, and you heard the, the high notes he... The, the high notes he was singing in that mother-sucking leading up to it, right? Or not even just Daddy Fat Snap's... His song with Rustage, the running in blind one. Running in blind, finally out my mind. That's my time. Like, come on now. Or some of his songs. Y'all literally saw me reacting to recently in a reaction where he has the, 
And hey, don't get it twisted too with his. He can get saucy too. Don't get him twisted on the sauciness now. Cause he sounds like he could. He's like one of those jazz, like with his type of vocal experience. He's like that jazz type of person, where you would hear it in a New Orleans type of jazz music and such. Cause you know how New Orleans with their type of songs. I don't know, cause it basically got that type of vibe. But yeah, like I'm saying, with Maguire's vocal presence, it's a good damn thing that it came into the nerdcore. Cause let's face it. The songs will still be fire, no doubt about it, but I'm just saying, have you ever gotten more of a soulful purpose in a song? Whether he's on a hook, or whether he's doing a verse. With his type of vocal presence on a song, have you ever heard it like that anywhere else in Nurk or before he came in? You can leave your comments down, you can let me know in the comments below, but I'm just saying for me... Never once heard it. Y'all can get mad at me all y'all want, but until that you have told me that you've heard another nerdcore artist like him bef before Maguire, another nerdcore artist, another nerdcore artist before Maguire that came in and sound how Maguire could sound, I don't believe it. I'm going to say it until the end of the day. Without Maguire and his vocal presence, there will be no soulfulness. In nerdcore. Y'all can get mad at me all y'all want for it, but at the end of the day, you know it's true. And and to put up, and he also said there are these are just these are but a few contributes that have either changed the game, like AMVs, sauce shown what's possible, or simply just pushing the borders that changed this genre a lot. And a hey, those are just a few of them. No doubt about it. And now, but hey, some of it is true though. These are just few of the, at these are just few of these contributions that came in that changed the game of how nerdcore is, right? And I want to, and to me, I want to say another aspect of it is like. Them showing their faces out more, cause, cause we've, cause you've heard from many other uh, other people saying about how they should start showing their face out more. I mean, like you can, you can go to they. I mean, they promote their shows, they promote their shows, their social media and such. So you can literally go see their faces there. But nine times out of ten, you want to see them. But yeah. Now, but to my expect now, that was just from what did do Dave's in his Twitter and why he put up that feed, that thread. So shout out to what did do Dave for that, and that exp and like I said, that inspired me to wanted to make this video. Now to my experience now, right? So now to my experience now in the one year within the nerdcore community. Man oh man, has it has changed for the better. Because comparing how I started last year, in this month of August, right? Comparing how it was last year, how about I started to now this year? Man, the fact is that y'all want to know how much of a... Sorry. Y'all want to know how much I support this nerdcore community? Y'all always know that I've reacted to some like... NLE Chopper, Polo G, Eminem, Juice World, Pop Smoke, J hell, J. Cole, anybody, right? Mostly like mainstream, right? The f and the fact that I, when I started back in August reacting to some nerdcore, to this day, right? And the thing is, right? Eminem dropped an album. Right, he dropped this album, but it's mostly of songs from like his recent albums and such. But either way, the fact that, right, this and I, y'all may not know how big it is to y'all, but this is to me. The fact that one, this nerd, the way how I'm so committed to this nerdcore community, I don't even, 
y'all seen y'all basically see how my channel is you barely ever since august of last year to now you barely ever see me react to any other song from mainstream wise because that's how much i'm in in to this nerdcore community like i literally shadow myself away from the mainstream because with the nerdcore community you get different artists who's trying to be different and when I say different, I mean like they don't try to they don't try to be like saying like they're to gangsters or they have to be this and that and the third to be popular. Nah. Nine times out of ten, what's wrong like me, I know I'm not tough. I'm not a gangster. You don't see me having tattoos on me and such or right? You don't see me with that. I'm just a simple I'm just a simple twenty two year old boy. I wouldn't say boy. You can say it there. But I'm just a simple guy who, and it's like this, right? With the Nerdcore community, right? The first ever anime I watched because of the Nerdcore songs I've been reacting to for this year is One Piece, right? The fact, the fact that a song, the fact that with these Nerdcore songs I've been reacting to so many times, right? The fact that I have never once thought of a song that could actually make me go either watch something or do something about it. That's how much it is to me. The fact that with Nerdcore, that literally made me, not only made me listen, start listening to more Nerdcore songs from any, not just the big ones, just any ones. But they literally start making me watching some animes. Some that I want to start watching. Like some that I've watched, like... Attack on Titans, One Piece, Black Clover, freaking, um, I said Attack on Titan already. But yeah, but you get what I'm trying to say, like the fact that they making me wanting to start watching anime, because before, like I said, right, they didn't know what, I didn't even know there was an, I didn't even know, know what anime was. Straight up with y'all, y'all think I'm joking? Before 2020, one or 2020 right or just before right before these nerdcore songs cyphers and such came out i didn't know what anime was the only anime people the only ones i've always hear about are just dragon ball z and naruto but i've never like gotten to because i've seen a few little episodes here and there so i've gotten to what so but i've never like gone deep deep into it now within a year later with each anime song, each nerdcore songs I be reacting to and listen to on the regular, I, you might as well say I just know every other anime. Well, not really, but you might with the many songs of it, cause with them. And the fact is, right? Shout out to Aizen too. He said something about this too. The fact that with one, the fact that with, even though you're rapping, saying like if one nerdcore artist rap about. Luffy from One Piece, right? D there will be different elements of how people do it. Because one may be rapping as like a hard track. The other one may be rapping as a goofy one. <laughs> like a funny one. The other one could be doing like a R&B one. The other one could be like a vibe. The other one could be like a freaking rock and such. Hell, that, I mean like for instance, right? With like... Honestly, the fact that the fandom of One Piece is crazy, the nationality of Luffy is Brazilian, cause and you can hear it in the dub version, right? So the fact that when Rustage did a song, did a Luffy song, and it's bounced back, but it had this reggaeton type of vibe, bro, and the way how it looks, the way how the anime looks and such in it, I can definitely get it. You can definitely see it. But, yeah. With the Nerd Club, and like I said, this is just one year in so far. And trust me, with the many love that y'all always show on the videos, whether it be little, whether it be a lot, and the many times y'all always want to watch the Anime Wednesdays and such, the fact, and the fact that is, that with my Anime Wednesday series, that I'm like, what? 30, 32 videos in probably tonight could be 33 hold on I want I want Messi do so let me look how much I've got so far 
Cause I feel like the one that I started was back in like Mar like in Feb. Hold on. Hold on. Thirty-one. Hold on, y'all. Let me let me look, cause yeah, thirty-one actually. So yeah, the fact that and. Hold on, I want to see how much I've done so far. Well, it's like this. I've start. It was probably around like. Hold on, I. Let me go look in my playlist, cause I know I've have it. So hold on, give me a second. So the first one was back in what? The first one was back in November. 20 November 24th 2021 we're in August of 2022 so almost nine months you can say nine months let me see give me a second so hold on so November December January February March April May June July August so 10 months in now I've been doing the anime, anime, my anime Wednesday series for ten months now, and I've got down thirty-one videos in, thirty-one live streams or reaction videos in. That's insane to me. The fact that I'm, the fact that I'm that into it that much that I have thirty-one video, thirty-one re, basically thirty-one videos of this, crazy. Never thought in my never thought to me right I don't know about y'all but to me never thought that I would be so invested in a series in a just in like a community that much that I'm willing to do these type of videos and on a specific day for the past 10 months almost you can almost call it a year at this point because November of this year will be a year crazy but yeah I don't know how long, but I just want to say, hey, sh I appreciate everybody who's been watching my Nerdcore reactions throughout this entire year, because, damn. The, fa the fact that I started out with Divide Music, and now for the recent one, which was, hold on. And the recent one was from, like, Peso Pete and such, from last year to now. But the thing is, man, I should have started out way earlier. Because, to be honest, here's the thing. And I've said this multiple times. Anyway, I've not said this multiple times, but to myself. If y'all remember, the first time I've ever just reacted to like a... Just like a precursor, you could say, to me, started reacting to it. Was when Screwface John did a did a, did his first anime rap song. And of course it has to be Dragon Ball Z, because which other one he wasn't going to do. Because a lot of people was trying to make him want to do something that isn't that he don't know. Hell no. You expect him to do something that he don't know? You expect him to do a, doing his first anime rap. You think it's not going to be Dragon Ball Z from the many times he's talked about it? What the is he talking about? You know he was going to do a Dragon Ball You know he was going to do a Dragon Ball Z. You had to know. But yeah, the first time when he done, and y'all see me reacted to that. If y'all haven't, you can go check it out. Humpa Ziggy, Screwface John, Screwface John, Dragon Ball Z, you type that in and you'll see it. The fact that with that one, right, that was the first instance of me just reacting to a Nerdcore song. And at that time, I just thought it was just a regular song and such, like, but then, to that day, right, I never thought it would be something like, this type of level honestly straight up because on that day right on that specific time when i'm reacting to it i just thought it's just like a normal school phase john and y'all still show love to it no matter what y'all still did show love to it so cool much love to y'all but that that day i never thought it could be something like how it is today because i wish i could have reacted to it more because the minute when i heard that song and it was fire y'all can go look it was like a little, a little bit, it was like in an OBS type of thing, if I re remember, I reacted to, it had to be. But either way, it was still fire, so I still love y'all for reacting to it. 
if I would love y'all if y'all do go look back on it. This might be two years, but still, if y'all would go check it out. Sorry, but I would never thought to this. But I would never thought it would come, cause and the thing is right. Hear me out. Like think about it like this. From that day when I reacted to it, right? I've been I'm subscribed to Schoolface John's channel, right? And through multiple times when I got that notification on my phone, cause I be at work, right? From that day when I reacted to it, I see multiple times on my phone like a notification of his channel whenever he uploads a new video, and I be wondering who the hell are like, and throughout those times because yeah I'm at work, so I be like look, I look at it for a little split second and I'm like, what is this? What are these? Like I never know about it. Like I see one with Fable, I see like one with Daddy Fast Snaps, I see one with like with Deep like Dizzy Aid and such. And at that point, I was like, I was like, hmm, this is weird. Honestly, this is how I felt. Like, hmm, this is just something ordinary. I never know what it is. Because it's not used to what I'm, it's not what I was used to at the time. But damn, nigga. But it's like this. Ever since Screwface and Internet City, I gotta shout them out. Because cause when the first time when I watched Internet City's reactions to their, to their aspect, they, especially with internet Aaron, with Aaron knowing all, cause let's face it, he is an anime nerd. I don't hate. It's not a hate. You can say I'm an anime nerd too, but not like how he knows it, and not like how Professor Curl knows it, cause them two are like the anime ner anime brains of nerdcore. But yeah, ever since then, right, when I started reacting more, ever since when I watched their videos. And seeing how they react to nerd, most nerdcore songs, especially Aaron, because his be the most latest ones. Mikey too, especially when it's the vibe. But with Aaron, it be on a different level. But yeah, all I gotta say ends like this. I want to wrap this up because I know there's probably because like I said, today's Wednesday now, and I want to start prepping up for. Then again, you might see it on a video, but either way. With this, I want to say this. Shout out to everybody from the one year that I started it, from last year to now, that has been watching every single Nerdcore song and has been tuning in to every Anime Wednesday video that I've put out for the past 10 months and such of that. But for the one year that y'all been just watching each of my Nerdcore songs and, and it's like this. Never have I ever thought that with the nerdcore song that I be bump. I'm lit so because of this, I'm bumping out nerdcore songs year after, like literally on the daily now. Like lit, like honestly. Every time when I just have a chill day to myself, I literally. Y'all think I'm joking? I'm gonna show y'all proof. Ever, I'm gonna go to like my phone, right? I'm on my phone, right? Click on like a music daily. Mostly and look, right? If y'all can't see, mostly to eats song. Y'all see? If y'all not seeing it good, right? Each song that you might see there is a little bit of my music taste, like for Caribbean and such. But each one you might see, they're nerd out with their Among Us rap, Restage. Hell, even Screwface that have a song called Anime, but it's a different way. Right? The fact that I... With that one, look. That one, the Dobby rap I was talking about. DPS's solo level rap arrives. What is this? Like, literally, Game Boy Jones's backup. That was from two years ago. The Batman rap he did months ago. Rustage's Beast one he did from, I think it was it was January or February. Then DPS's Berserk that he did from a month month and a half ago his drill one right. Game Boy Jones's Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. That one. Uh, hold on. The Black Excellence one right. Literally eat like literally each one is anytime when you scrolling up you can look at it and you can definitely see that each of them. 
almost half of these are like basically you can say almost half of my songs and such that I've got like downloaded songs you can say from Pandora is literally half of them because let's face it on it I got like so in total I have 268 songs right downloaded on my phone right almost half of those songs I can guarantee you half of them is Nerdcore or not even or not even I could say like half of them I could say like three quarters of them well I can say half of them I actually half of them let me not be that saying like I'm biased almost half of them is like Nerdcore and half and like one half the other piece of it is like hip hop and such and the other piece is like Caribbean cause yeah I'm Jamaican you, you, you know that from, you have to know no matter how much love I show to the nerdcore no matter how much hip hop music I love at the end of the day I'm Jamaican through and through and you gotta know I mean for goodness sakes y'all saw la y'all saw my last reaction y'all saw my y'all see my recent reaction it's a Jamaican even though it's DJ Khaled's song but let's face it it had once you see that he's gonna represent Jamaican where it has Bojo, Capleton, Sizzler, Bounty Kill and such, you know I had to react to it. I don't care if it if I have to blur out a certain blur out some parts of it, you know. Once it's Jamaican, I have to put it up. It just is in me. It has to. But yeah. Either way, from that moment on. But either way, half of that is just mostly my nerd mostly nerdcore. And it's crazy to think that still to this day, and this is why I said, and this is why I'm saying, like with nerdcore, you get different elements of each nerdcore artist, cause you don't see them always trying to pump out the same old thing. Cause with most mainstream songs, right? And I don't look, y'all already know this was gonna be long, so strap in. But it's like this: with each mainstream song, right? You always get the same old, same old. You, you barely ever see them trying to change it up. Barely. And 9 times out of 10, most of them be fake. I mean, for goodness fucking sake. They all, I want, they all, they have like a little, anim, a virtual AI rapper named Effin Mecca. You see how ridiculous the music industry, the mainstream music industry, thank God they turned that down because they know they go over some controversial racial stereotypes of that thing but come on now really and I won't be surprised if there's gonna be another one I wouldn't be surprised but the fact that they were literally at one point they literally signed a freaking AI rap a virtual AI rapper that already I was already checked out but the fact but that right there already made me want to say let me wrap it up cause at that point, I like still want to bump to some songs from mainstream, but let's face it, nine times out of ten, I got. In a way, I felt like I was tired of it, and I wanted to virtual venture out into something new, new songs and such. So the fact that we're nerdcore now, right? Tot totally different. Like you get, like with them, you literally see different elements of how they are, and most of them could be rap. And the fact that with nerdcore, right, you got nerd, you got songs that are, you got anime rap songs that are with rap, that are, that are like the bars, like the rippity rap and such, but the way how they do it, it make it fire. You got R and B ones, you got rock, you got trap, you can have some trap in there. And the fact that with each cipher and such, it be different. That just shows you that I am into this nerdcore song. I am into this nerdcore community for life. I don't care how much else. I don't care if people would say that it's different. People are always tell me, or mostly. I mean, for goodness sakes, one of my friends that I are like with, I go to college with and such. Whenever I'm bumping her nerdcore, bumping my nerdcore songs in her car, at what she said at one point she, and every time when I do it, right. She likes them. She really do. Like one of them, I bump it so much, literally one of them is stuck in her head. She can't remember which one it was, but the fact that with that, the fact that with a nerdcore song that I play, 
and one of them is stuck in her head and she says she likes it that just solidifies that with the nerdcore songs with nerdcore it's gonna stick because it's the best thing that's coming out of the internet and it's make and it could and like I said it could be bigger than the mainstream fight me or at the same level as the mainstream and I've said it before if you think that I'm wrong hey let me know I'll take the criticism I don't care because at the end of the day you got your opinion and I got mine but yeah I want to wrap it up like there and such because I don't want this being like an hour long so appreciate y'all for sticking around and such and watching this through the entire end and if you did comment down below humble squad humble squad nerdcore community for life <laughs> Or just say nerdcore. Comment down below, nerdcore community for life. Just comment that below, and I'll give you a heart there. But yeah, just want to say for all the anime rapper, all the nerdcore artists who've been commenting on my videos where I reacted to their songs, from the major ones like Daddy Fat Snaps, Fable, Dizzy Eight, Peace, Peso Pete, and such, to all of them who comment and such, to all the people who watch it and and such. And for hell, even for JB, JB, who be pump, who be making these lists for me for Anime Wednesdays, and that be y'all be seeing each videos and such, right? Well, half of them would be me from doing it, making the list and such, and the other half is from her. But hey, still her doing this for me, appreciate her, appreciate her trying to do the best that she can. But either way, for everybody who's who's like watched it and so far shout out to y'all love y'all for that because it's crazy that this ever became a thing on my channel and still is to this day but yeah y'all let me know what y'all thought about this man and like I said appreciate all the love and support from the nerdcore community shout out to y'all the artists the people everybody because I wish I could and the thing is with every I wish I could like be able to go to like the Momo cons, the Nerdcore party cons and such, the NPCs and such, but hey, sooner or later, when the time comes, I will definitely for sure would want to go to one. But yeah, appreciate all the love and support, like I said, to everybody in the Nerdcore community. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. There you go.